Hey there and welcome back to the Amateur Extra Element 4 study. We're on sub-element 2 echo with some more ham radio jargon for your everyday life. Which of the following types of modulation is used for data emissions below 30 megahertz? That is FSK or frequency shift keying. Which of the following synchronizes WSJTX digital mode transmit receive timing? And that is the synchronization of computer clocks. I use a program called Dimension 4 and it pulls from the NIST. All of these servers will give you a very good exact time that is synchronized. And if everybody uses it, all of our clocks will be within maybe 0.1 of a second. Another way to do it is to use GPS clock timing and that will also synchronize your computer clocks. To what does the 4 in FT4 refer? And that is a 4 tone continuous phase frequency shift key. So it refers to 4 tones. The 4 is 4 tones. That doesn't narrow down your answers, but 4 tone, there's only one 4 tone. The number four does show up twice down there, but it is four tone continuous phase FSK. Which of the following is a characteristic of the FST4 mode? Now this one says all the choices are correct. And that is four tone Gaussian frequency shift keying, variable transmit receive periods, and seven different tone spacings. Just remember for this one that all these choices are correct. And if you want to experiment with that, you can find FST4 in WSJTX. Which of these digital modes does not support keyboard to keyboard operation? And what that means is you can't have a conversation using it. And out of these choices, that is whisper, WSPR. What is the length? of an FT8 transmission cycle. We mentioned this earlier. It is 15 seconds. FT4 is seven and a half seconds. FT8 is 15 seconds. And all of the WSJTX modes have different times and some are variable. How does Q65 differ from JT65? Q65, which is used in EME, uses multiple received cycles and those cycles are averaged. So multiple received cycles are averaged. So it takes the average of all those to give you your data. Which of the following HF digital modes can be used to transfer binary files? And that would be Pactor. Pactor is used to transfer binary files. Which of the following HF digital modes uses variable length character coding? And that is PSK31. Again, you can download FL Digi if you want to hear what PSK31 sounds like when you type on the keyboard. Just have your output to your speakers and you can listen to it. Which of these digital modes has the narrowest bandwidth? So out of these four, FT8 has the narrowest bandwidth. The bandwidth of FT8 is approximately 50 hertz. What is the difference between direct frequency shift keying and audio frequency shift keying? So direct frequency shift keying modulates your transmitter VFO and not in these choices. Audio frequency shift keying, it, it is mixed with it. So direct FSK directly changes your transmit frequency. Question number 12. How do ALE stations establish contact? And I have that pulled up really quick. ALE is automatic link establishment and it uses a, a call sign to recognize that it needs to start up. So ALE constantly scans a list of frequencies, and that list of frequencies are called channels, activating the radio when the designated call sign is received. And the last question in this wonderful section, 
which of these digital modes has the highest data throughput under clear communication conditions? And, and that means clear, no error. So you can send fast data if there's no errors involved. But if errors start creeping up, you have to slow down the amount of data that, you're, that is sent. So that is Pactor 4. Pactor 4 has the highest throughput. Now, when I was in college and I learned about um, digital transmissions, the higher the speed, the clearer that path has to be. If there's any interference, data is going to be lost or dropped. So for question 13, the highest throughput out of these choices is Pactor 4. Thanks so much. We're moving on to a new sub-element after this. I'm Robbie W1RCP73.